Good morning, friends and family. Question of the day. What is a Christian? You know, there's a, a dictionary um, definition that says um, that a Christian would be something similar to a person professing belief in Jesus as a Christ or in the religion based on the teachings of Jesus. While this is a good starting point, like many dictionary de definitions are, it falls somewhat short of reality and of really communicating the biblical truth of what it means to be a Christian. The word Christian is used three times in the New Testament, Acts 11.26, Acts 26, 28, 1 Peter 4, verse 16. Followers of Jesus were first called Christians in Antioch. Yes, Antioch, Acts chapter 11, verse 26, because of their behavior, because of their activities because of the things they did and because of their speech. They, they, their speech was like Christ. So the word Christian literally means belonging to the party of Christ or a follower of Christ. Unfortunately, over time, the word Christian has lost a great deal of its significance and it's often used um, of someone who is religious or has high moral values, but who may or may not be a true follower of Jesus Christ. I, and I found that to be true myself in my own life. It's gotten to the point where I don't even say I'm a Christian. I just say, you know what? I am a follower of Jesus Christ. And that's about as, as close as it's going to get to me admitting I'm a Christian. Many people who don't believe and, and they don't um, trust in Jesus consider themselves Christ, Christians. And they consider themselves a Christian simply because they go to church or they live in a, a Christian nation. But going to church, serving those less fortunate than you or being a good person does not make you a Christian. So going to church it doesn't make you any more of a Christian than some people would use this terminology. Going to a garage makes you an automobile. I've heard my husband say that. So, yes, it, it going, you can go to church every Sunday. You could go twice on Sunday. It's not going to make you a Christian. So being a member of a church, attending services regularly, and giving to the work of the church does not make you a Christian. Even giving your money to the church is not going to make you a Christian. The Bible teaches that the, the good works that we do can't make us acceptable to God. See Titus 3 verse 5. It says he saved us not because of righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. Because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. So a Christian is someone who has been, as, as the Bible uses the terminology, born again by God. Amen? Born again. You know, that birth, that new birth experience is the same as a physical baby being born into the physical realm, only it's a spiritual birth that you cannot see. Just like you cannot see God, you cannot see the devil. But we know when we're born again. We know when there is a spiritual birth that takes place. See John 3, verse 3, John 3, verse 7, 1 Peter 1, 23. So that person, a Christian, is someone who's been born again by God and he has put his faith and his trust in Jesus Christ Ephesians 2.8 tells us that it is by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. 
So a true Christian is a person who has put faith and they've put trust in the person, and not only the person, but the work of Jesus Christ, including and especially and including his death on the cross as payment for sins and his resurrection on the third day. John 1 verse 12 tells us, Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. So let me say that one more time because that is such a absolutely beautiful scripture. John 1 12 tells us, Yet to all who received him, to you who received him, to you who believed upon him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. So the mark of a true Christian is love for others. After you become that person, after you become that person who gives your life to Christ, who asks Christ to come into your heart, you're going to start having the attributes of Christ in your life or the fruit of Christ in your life. God is love. So the mark of a true Christian is love for others and it's obedience to God's word. Why? Because you've got to have action. You've got to have faith. Faith is an action word. You've got to have obedience, whatever. And, and when I say obedience, I'm talking what you do, what you say, where you go, who you act like, who you are, who you who you look like to be from others, the, that's the true mark of a Christian. When you reach out to others, your obedience to God's word, that obedience is not works. Like I hear people say, well, you're not saved by your works. No, you're not. But let me tell you what, you're going to have some works if you've got faith, if you've got if you've truly been born again, your life has, there has been a reformation in your life. You have received new life. There is going to be new fruit in your life. You're going to start doing with your physical things, action. You're going to start doing. You're going to start obeying God's word. You're going to start being good to people. You're going to have love in your heart. There are some big changes that took place when you asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart. And though you may not have even realized how, how set free you were at that moment, there, there was a huge transformation that took place in your life. And there are going to be changes that take place in the things that you do. And, and not only that, the things that you desire to do. Is it all going to happen overnight? A good portion of it is. But then there will be an ongoing learning and growing and maturing in Christ. You will also go through trials. The Bible's real clear that it says you'll go through troubles in the, as long as we're in this world. Um, but you'll definitely see a difference in the desires in your life and what you want to do. You'll also see when you make a mistake, when you sin, when you fail God, you're going to feel it because God will chastise you. Why? Because he loves you. He's maturing you, teaching you, growing you up. Just like you were a brand new baby, just born again. I mean, <laughs> just born again. Just born, one day old. Same thing when you're a new Christian. Just born, one day old. You got to begin to learn and grow in him. It does not all fall upon you overnight and you just become the 100% holy, righteous Christian that all of us really are pressing towards wanting to be. We are that in Christ. And in saying that, I'm going to close here. I'm going to say God bless you each and every one. Have an absolutely amazing Passover week.